Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And as you can see, we have a very special guest. We have Rocio from Risoturias. I'm sure you guys follow her on YouTube as well. One of my curly girl friends. Welcome. Hi. How y'all doing today? And she's in LA because you're visiting from? I'm visiting from good old New Orleans. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we have some traveling curly sisters here. And we're going to do a curly hair routine swap today. Yes. So we're going to be doing a product swap. I'll be doing my products on her hair and her products on my hair. And you can see how that works out on her channel. So that will be all in the description box below, of course. So let's start off with a little bit about your hair. Let's take it down from, okay. from the towel or yes. t-shirt. From, from my pajamas. Pajama shirts, yeah. whatever works. Just don't use a towel. You guys know that. <laughs> no, so I co-washed. Um, oh, it smells right good. Home, right? It's got the whiff amazing, already. Huh? <laughs> mm. I did co-wash my hair. Um, and yeah, so I have fine curls, low density curls. And they range anywhere from like a 3A, usually in the very front to 3B um, and then 3C in the very back and then I always have very dry hair in the very back of my hair or in the very back of my head and that's just yeah that's just kind of my hair to just okay so like when my hair is wet it looks really similar I have like these looser ways but then once it's dry I get these super tight ringlets so although we both have um, like low porosity fine hair uh, doesn't mean that our products are going to work exactly the same. So it's right. going to be a little test today to see how these products do. So these are the products I have today. They're both by Curl Keeper. This is their Ultimate Hold Frizz Control Gel. And I have the Textured Hair Styling Cream. I'm sure you guys might have seen my other videos on them. And these actually work on their own one at a time and I get amazing results. But because you have expressed that she has like some drier hair in the back, I'm going to be using both together. So the styling cream will give it some more moisture and then the gel will give it some beautiful definition. Yeah, and I've used the gel before, but this is actually gonna be the first time that I'm using the cream. So I'm excited to, to just kind of see what both of them will look like on my hair. Perfect, let's find out. So because Rocio lives in a different state and is not easy accessible, my microphone decided not to record any sound for this part of the video. Ugh, so annoying. But we're gonna make it work. But what I did was I grabbed my Curl Keeper water bottle, which actually sprays more like a mist instead of a squirt bottle, so it's actually very, very cool. And I used this to re-wet her entire head. Now I grabbed the Curl Keeper Styling Cream and I applied about this much and I applied this all throughout her hair. If you have really dry hair, I would recommend using a leave-in or maybe a styling cream before adding gel just to give it some extra moisture. Then I grabbed the Curl Keeper Styling Gel and I applied about that much and I'm going to actually apply this to her hair in sections. She explained to me that the back of her hair is more dry than the front and actually has more of a tighter curl pattern. So the curls in the front are more loose and she has like this one patch of tighter curls. And I know you guys have expressed that to me before, saying that your hair has different types of textures, but I've never actually seen that before with Rocio. So if your hair is also mixed with different types of textures or patterns, I definitely recommend subscribing to Rocio's channel. That way you can see what she does to handle multiple textures in your hair. So my usual technique when it comes to diffusing is I personally like to not diffuse right after applying the product because that usually can create some type of frizz. That could be me, but I want to try it on your hair today. So what I want to do is, uh, I don't know how to, I tried to keep up with the voice, but I couldn't. <laughs> what I wanted to say is I like to let my hair air dry before I diffuse. So I'm going to let this sit for as long as possible and then we're going to come back and see how it is. And we're back. And now her hair has been drying for about 45 minutes. So it's not completely dry, but it's getting there. So I want to diffuse while it's still a little bit damp so we can create some big, beautiful, bouncy curls. But I definitely see the volume already, so I'm excited to see that. So I'm going to grab my Diva Fuser. The claw. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'm going to have you do it. Okay. So I like to put it on a medium heat. I think this one has cool, medium, and hot. And then on a low fan, so it's not like blasting air. So we're going to have you do this upside down mm -hmm. and then just kind of scrunching it towards the crown of your head. Okay. All right, let's see how that looks. Go ahead and flip it up. Oh yes, we definitely got some volume. <laughs> Definitely have more defined here in the front, mm -hmm. and it's even bigger in the back. Oh well, obviously, when you're gorgeous, it doesn't really matter what you oh. do. <laughs> but I would say overall, mm -hmm. it isn't as moisturized as I wanted it to be. Mm 
Um, so I think it might even be better to not even put gel in the dryer spot that you're talking about. Maybe okay. we should have just done a styling cream. Okay. But I definitely love these front curls right here. It's really nice and defined. And if I'm gonna grab my last handy dandy pick, which is everyone's secret weapon. Everyone oh, yes. needs one. <laughs> I'm just going to make it cute. How big am I allowed to make this? <laughs> as big as you possibly can, girl. I told you. Right. Flat top is not my friend. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Let me not take off your ear. How do you use the pick? I mean, I've seen um, you use the pick, and it's like, I feel like everyone has their own pick technique. Yeah. I also do this upside down. Uh huh. So if you want to flip your head, we could try that. So if I do pick underneath here, let me not take out an eyeball. <laughs> Now that I do have bangs, I have to do that so my bangs will fall mm -hmm. forward. Okay, flip it back. Ooh. Good. Good. Well, I think you definitely got the volume. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you definitely have more defined curls in the front. Mm -hmm. I wish it was more defined in the back. She definitely has the volume here, but they're not like perfect spirals, but it is giving her more of a shape and more bigness to the hair overall. All right, so here's the final result. What are your thoughts since you know how you like to wear your hair? So I usually like to wear my hair um, a little more defined, a little neater, not so much frizz, but I think the frizz is definitely what's giving it a little bit more volume, especially mm -hmm. on the sides. If you do have drier hair, it is very common that maybe gels could be too drying for your hair. So we did a little experiment on, on her hair. She does have mixed hair. So on the front, I think the gel did great, but on the drier parts, it might've been too dry. So now we know. Now we know. Now we do now the product know. swap. <laughs> That's so, the whole purpose of this, exactly. you know? It's like trying to see what products, you know, would normally work for one person's hair type and see whether or not it will work for someone else's hair type, hair type or not, because I mean, that's what it's all about. Every, everyone's hair is different, no Definitely. two curls are the same, so that's what it's all about. So now we're gonna do a little swap again, and mm -hmm. she's gonna do my hair starting from fresh, and we'll see how her products work on my curls. Yes, so if you're sure. interested, Come check out my channel, Reese's Rizzo's, and I'm gonna be doing Bianca's hair with my favorite products. And I'll put that link below in the description box at the end of this video, so make sure you check her out. She has amazing curly hair videos. She has product reviews all the time as well. So if you want more products for all my product <laughs> junkies out there, make sure you subscribe to her channel. But that is all for this video. I hope to see you guys next week. I post new videos every Sunday. Make sure to follow me on social media at Ms. Bianca Renee, and what's all your social media? Reese's Rizzo's on everything. Follow us both, and I will see you guys next week. Thanks Bye. for watching Bianca Renee today.